3.6. Draw a straight line from a given information. This is part of my ultimate revision guide to further maths GCSE. It's the coordinate geometry section. Here we have an index button that will take you back to the index of coordinate geometry, and here we have a section where any exam questions, uh, further maths exam questions I've done on this topic, I'll put links into here. Okay, so things we need to know. We need, need to be able to draw a straight line using the gradient and a point on the line quite often the intercept or uh, draw a straight line using two given points on the line. Um, you may need to make your own table of values so you won't, won't be instructed to do so like you might be done at um, GCSE um, higher maths you might be given a table to fill in but here you won't be told that if you need to do, do one you can do your own. Okay so draw the line uh, two example questions draw this line and this line given the information so have a go at doing those. You probably need a bit of square paper to do that. So probably best to get some of that and have a go. Make sure you can do those things. Okay, let's go through them. Okay, so the first one, drawing this line here. Now we can use the equation of the line to be able to plot this without having to draw any tables of values. If you need to draw tables of values though, if you're happy with that, and you, you can work out the values from minus three to three and then just plot them on a, on a grid. Okay, we're going to show you how to do it without um, drawing a table of values. So the first thing we need to do is draw ourselves an ax pair of axes. We'll go from minus 3 to 3, so we're going to have uh, the vertical axis in the middle. So let's put a vertical line down there. Now you need to be a little bit careful, maybe figure out what some values are. This uh, y value for, for minus 3 is it's quite a steep line. Um, it's going to be minus 9, minus 5, which is minus 14. So I need to go down to minus 14. Um, and I need to go up to um, 9 take away 5 is 4. So I'm going to be more below than above, but I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do some alternate scales here. So you don't have to have the same scale on each axis. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use um, two squares for one going across. So 1, 2, 3. And coming this way, the same again. You've got to keep the same scale in these directions. In the same direction and then I'm going to use an alternate scale going above so I'm going to I need to go down to minus 14 so I'm actually going to call this minus 20 and this minus 10 so every square is going to be 2. Now you don't have to label every every point on the line you can if it helps you um, but you don't have to do that. Now you could plot out a table of values I'm not going to do that um, if you want to do that you can do but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this information here so 3x minus 5 so that tells me it goes through the point minus 5 so it goes through this point here at minus 5 so that's the y-intercept and I know for every one across I go on my scale I'm going to go up 3 so if I'm going across one on the scale here so every one across on my scale so I'm going one across which is two squares on the scale I need to go up 3 so on this scale, that's a one and a half square, so that will be to here. And then I go across one on my scale, I need to go up another three, so that's two and one, half makes three, and then across one, up three would be to here. So I end up at three and four. So just checking that's correct, three times three is nine, take away five is four, so three, four is a point. And you can see there, now a nice straight line. Now I could just, um, draw a line through those which is what I'm going to do or I could carry on and work out some values for the negatives um, but you don't have to plot all the points you just need to do it from minus 3 to 3 so I'm going to go from here and I follow that line down until I get to minus 3 and it should be at that point there um, which is I think we worked out earlier was minus 14 which is where it is here and just label it so it's nice and clear this is the line we want y equals 3x minus 5 like I said before, you can work out the individual values um, in a table and then plot them if you want. Okay, drawing a line that has a gradient of a half and intersects the y axis 5, you use from 0 to 9. So we're going from 0 to 9. Um, it's going to cross at 5, um, sorry, 0 to 8. We're going to cross at 5. The gradient is a half. Now I could work that out. That's actually going to go um, for every one across, it's going to go up a half. So when it goes 8 across, it's going to go up 4. So I'm going to end up at 9 high. So um, this time I'm just going to draw my scale in here. My axis in there, sorry. And then I'm going to go 
across to eight, so I'm going to call that five and ten, and I'm going to call this five and ten. So I'm going to keep a, the, same, the same scale in both directions this time. Um, so at zero, we know it crosses the y axis at five, so it crosses at five, so it crosses there, and the gradient is a half. So every one across I go on here, I'm going up a half, so every two across, I'm going up one. So I'm going two squares on my scale across, I need to go up one on. So two and one, two and one, two and one, and I need to go up to eight, which is actually that one there. So I don't need to do any more than that. And uh, I just need to use those values there and um, put my line in here. Okay, so that's my equation of that line. It doesn't actually know, given the equation, but we could write it down. It's the uh, y equals a half x plus five line, because that's the gradient and that's the y-intercept. So that's our equation. Okay, so that's just plotting lines. You don't really need to, to be able to do anything fancy to do that. So um, that's how I go. I plot lines quickly without drawing tables of values.